Hello again, and welcome back to another edition of the Wicking Conservative. I apologize if I look a little bit tired today. I really wasn't planning on doing a recording. And you see I don't have my headphones because I've recorded this video before and I can't seem to get the audio. So let's see if it works this time. I am presenting to you your Virginia government. Uh, since the lobby day has been announced and a lot of things have been going on, they have started to take active measures against the people that are coming up to support Virginia. So without further ado, I present to you the Virginia safety measures going into place leading into lobby day on Monday. Uh, I want to mention about visiting the Capitol starting Friday with the emergency declaration. So starting Friday at 5 p.m., uh, Capitol Square closes and will reopen at 7 a.m. daily through the weekend. The two weekend access points will be the Northeast Pedestrian Gate near the Patrick Henry Building and, and the other pedestrian gate located closest to the pedestrian plaza entrance at 10th and Bank Streets. The gate at 9th and Great Streets will be the only one available for pedestrian traffic Monday uh, for, the, for the permitted event. Those attending uh, will be required to proceed through a security access point on Monday at 9th and Gray Street, which we call North Drive, into Capitol Square. Please be careful when you get into the Capitol Square, as you may see temporary fencing and other security measures that will be in place. If on Monday you plan to visit your legislators for lobbying purposes, we ask that you be patient and expect lines at our access points at the Pocahontas building. Uh, I'd like to also reiterate, don't forget about the Facebook and Twitter accounts under the name of Virginia Capital 2020 as the official distribution points for the media information. And finally, those coming to the Capitol can sign up for a free text and email alerts through weather, for weather, traffic, and critical incidents through the Virginia State Capitol Alert Network, or vSCAN. You can find the vSCAN link at the top of the Capitol Police uh, website page, homepage, at dcp.virginia.gov. And I will turn the uh, podium over to Chief Smith. Governor. Mayor, Secretary. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm uh, William Smith. I'm the Chief of Police for the City of Richmond. And uh, I think you've heard very clearly that we stand as a unified front with our public safety partners. This is not something that we roll out on Monday. It's something that we do year in and year out. We have a wonderful relationship with our local partners, our state partners, and our federal partners. And we work very well together in planning for major events. We are dedicated to ensuring public safety during this year's lobby day. We have a few road closures that are going to impact our downtown area. Those, those include uh, 9th Street, which will be closed from Cary Street all the way up to Broad Street, Main Street from 14th Street to 8th Street. These areas are designed to make sure that we have uh, adequate area to ensure that people can assemble and exercise their rights safely without, uh, without having to deal with traffic. Our downtown, for our downtown residents and businesses, uh, you should be aware of these events, and you should know that they will, there will be a broad footprint of police presence throughout the downtown area. I'd like to emphasize a few points from the mayor. Our number one priority is public safety, and that means everyone who lives, works, and visits Richmond. We expect persons visiting to be respectful of others, their viewpoints, and to express their views peacefully. We stand ready and will take immediate action should persons choose otherwise. So there you have it, folks, straight from the horse's mouth. The rumors about road closures were true. I'm not sure if they're giving you all the information regarding uh, coming from out of state or not, but it's something to keep your eye on. Um, they are banning all weapons and in the name of public safety, they have a choke point 
going into the Capitol grounds. So these are all things that you need to be aware of if you're heading to the Capitol on Monday. And I highly suggest that you stay armed and you stay vigilant and be aware of your surroundings. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to look me up. I am Georgia Liberty on Facebook. I am the Wiccan Conservative on Twitter at J underscore Newmeyer, N-E-U-M-E-Y-E-R. And I also have a newly added MeWe account and a discussion page over there. If you guys are on MeWe, please feel free to look for the Wiccan Conservative. And that's all the information that I have for you guys today. And I hope that if you are planning on attending the event, that you stay armed and stay safe. Thank you very much for your support, and I will see you on the next one.